What's your favorite thing about PHP? That is a very interesting question. My favorite thing is that it gets me making my job done really easily. That's probably the best way to put it. Fair enough. Yeah. And what about the PHP community? What's your favorite thing about the PHP community? Well, the community overall. I mean, um, I'm speaking at conferences for about four years right now. I met a few, I met a lot of great people. Um, I've been to a lot of cool community conferences, so this is really great. So this whole community thing really works out great in the PHP world. Um, yes. Okay, and what do you see as the biggest changes and advances that PHP is going to go through, say, in the next year? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look into your crystal ball. <laughs> Others should figure that out. I just don't use it. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast. Drupal technology, community, and business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast. Drupal technology, community, and business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. We are in sunny, beautiful Berlin. <clears throat> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I've said this before, but it's perfect conference weather. It's uh, definitely it is. Yes. <laughs> we're here at Symphony Live Berlin. I'm with Stefan Hochdörfer. We're going to be talking a little bit about PHP open source uh, composer, the PHP Renaissance. All right. This is the Acquia podcast, where I get to talk with interesting, smart people about Drupal, about open source uh, technology, community, and business, uh, which I really like. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. So. <laughs> I'm really lucky. Stefan, how's your day been so far? Uh, day's been awesome. Yeah? It's my first Symphony Live conference so far. My first time as a speaker at Symphony Live. I really enjoy it. It's really sad that I have to leave in a couple of hours. All right. You can always come back. I've heard there are other open source events. Awesome. <laughs> so te um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where do you work? What do you do? Okay, so I'm running my own company. The company is called BitExpert. We are located in Mannheim, Germany. Um, we've been in business for 11 re years right now. Um, we are doing custom projects, like custom development for our clients. Um, all sorts of stuff, like small websites, uh, content management systems, um, e-commerce applications, whatever is possible with the web, we do it. And um, how much of that is PHP? Uh, right now, about between 80 and 90% of our projects. Yeah. We also do a little bit of Java, but I don't tell anyone. Okay. Cut that bit out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, when did you discover open source, free and open source software? Do you have a first open source memory? Oh, that's a long time ago. Um, I think I was introduced to Linux in the early 90s like 93 or 94. Um, I've been using Linux since then and um, <clears throat> did a few things with the web back then with Perl. I'm sorry to say that. And at one point I discovered PHP and I was kind of stuck with it because it helps me solve my problems on a daily basis. So live action noises from the hotel Absolutely. lobby. Absolutely. <laughs> um, if they Very don't do sad. that, we can't have our coffee later. So I think... <laughs> so hopefully uh, people can still understand us. Um, you said PHP helps you get done what you need to do. Yes. So it's, it's more or less quite easy to learn. Um, yeah, you can pretty quickly solve your problems. Um, yes, we do have a few flaws in the language. We know that, but we can deal with that. So overall, it's, it's a great tool for a great job. So what's the first version of PHP you used? Um, I think it was a really early version of PHP 4.0 or something. Yeah. So with PHP, 
in the LAMP stack running maybe 80% of the web. Mm. I don't think anybody has to be embarrassed that they do PHP, or I think we're long past the point where we have to justify ourselves. Yes. Well, that's actually my point, but to be honest, I've been to a few conferences, and I don't want to name them publicly, where I was treated like really the stupid guy because I'm doing PHP and I'm showing PHP examples on my slides. So like people did not get the point of the presentation. Um, Maybe I did it wrong. I'm, I don't want to blame anyone. But that was really weird to see. I mean, when, you're, when, you're being, when you are at a, at a PHP conference and you talk about other technologies, we are quite open, I guess. So it's really weird to see like the other way around and to experience that. W were those open source conferences? Um, no, no. We can blame it all on the on the bad proprietor. Exactly, people. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been doing PHP long enough. Um, we're in this PHP renaissance now. Exactly. Projects are starting to operate. But talk about the journey from PHP 4.0 when you started and PHP really professionalizing itself as a language and, mm -hmm. as, and as a community. Okay. Um, so back when we started the company and even a few years before, um, I did what all people did, like writing their own frameworks. Well, actually, it used to be like a component library, which then evolved into a framework, blah, 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 blah. Um, unfortunately, we still are sticking to that because obviously we have lots of customers, a lot of projects out there. Um, but we slowly and especially thankfully to Composer try to get rid of a lot of stuff and replace it with open source implementations. Um, what we haven't done so far is like, dedicating a few stuff to the public, like making stuff open source, but we'll definitely do so and, and plan to do that um, at a later stage. Yeah, so this is more or less my journey in a really short hmm. way. <laughs> so even though you're still running your own system, having Composer, which is dependency management for PHP, exactly. components allows you to sub those out one by one for Symfony, Silex, exactly, exactly. other libraries. Yeah, exactly. Like um, we had our own request response classes. I just threw them, threw them out and just put the Symfony ones in. I'm really hoping that um, the PSR standard, which is right now in the works, will get adopted. So we are, again, more closer to the, to the whole community. Aha, uh -huh. that's great. So Composer is allowing you to de-risk your own business as you go. Exactly, exactly. That's the point, yeah. And why should we manage all that stuff our own? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, um, our customers pay us to solve like real problems and not doing the shit that everyone does over and over again. So that right, well, that's the point of open source. There are exactly, thousands of us exactly, exactly. To, to help you out, as long as you, know, exactly. you help us out too. Right. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> You said something interesting in your prospect, uh, presentation. You said something interesting in your presentation today. Okay. Um, talking about how up until two or three years ago, mm -hmm. um, it was pretty much au okay to use complete frameworks, sort of monolithic mm -hmm. solutions, right. um, and how now PHP solutions are starting to look very componentized. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Okay, so yeah, back in the old days, we had these full stack frameworks like Send Framework version one, Symfony version one, I don't know, Agave, and a lot of others, um, which all came packed with this whole bunch of stuff. Uh, stuff that you probably do not need in your own project, like you probably don't need an LDAP connection or, or SOAP web service or whatnot. But you, yeah, it was just there, it was just lying around. Um, which back in the days was okay, but if you look closely to it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why should I have the code in my project when I don't use it? It just confuses people. Um, and these days, especially to Composer, um, we're more moving to this component-based business, like creating small components that are dedicated to one particular problem, and you are free to pick whatever component you want and combine it in the way that you want and just make something great. And this is really this is really cool because um, yeah you're just focusing on your real problems and just grabbing all the stuff that you need or that, that can help you solving these problems and just yeah focus on the real deal. So would you ever go and grab Drupal to solve the content management part of a part of a project? Um, maybe if it makes sense. Yes. Why not? So, um, so we are not 
specifically bound to a certain framework or a certain tool. So we will we really look what's out there and what will solve the problem as close as possible to to the needs of our customer. Um, and we also did a few Drupal projects in the past. Yes. Nice. Have you had a look at Drupal eight? Uh, not yet. No. No. Okay. Very great stories, but had not had the time. it's really it's actually really cool. Okay. The the, the mm -hmm. we've adopted a whole bunch of Sym Symphony components. Yeah, I heard that. Yes. Uh, Guzzles in That's there. Cool. All yeah. sorts of. It's yeah. It's pretty exciting. Okay. Cool. Um, so what you're saying about the components is, in the PHP world, we can adopt much more Unix-like solutions. Exactly. So the Unix principle is um, create a, a tool or, or a, 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 a binary or whatever um, that just solves one problem and just solves it in the best possible way. And just by using the, uh, the techniques of, of pipes, you can just chain the stuff together. So this is exactly what's happening right, with, uh, right now with a the, with the component-based uh, uh, approach is that we do. Yes. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk Thank with you. me. Well, and thanks again for your presentation. It was really interesting. OK, awesome. Cool. Great. We will put uh, links to you and your company and everything up in the post that goes with this. Great. And thanks again. Thanks. So, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> you record that stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> just need to get used to that.